everyone. Now, school has started for some folks. Yep. It's starting for some more later this week. That's right. So school buses are going to be out. Yes, we're going to see school buses. We're going to see the, the, you know, the back in the routine with yeah. buses stopping at bus stops. And so with that being said, Let's talk about a few things when it comes to school buses and making sure that we're stopping at the right locations, going where we're supposed to. Uh, so first of all, with those red flashing lights come on, that means we come to a complete stop. Mm -hmm. We do not move until the bus, the, the, the red flashing lights have stopped, mm -hmm. the dr bus driver has motioned us on to go, or the bus starts in motion. All right, so that being said, there's a few exemptions. One is that if we have a divided section, meaning like a median or a barrier, then you don't have to stop. But if we're going down Sherwood Way with just a turning lane, that does not count as a divided area. Right. All right. Also, now that things are maybe kind of coming back up with COVID, we might want to start expecting some more delays on, you know, the, the process of getting off one by one so they're distancing themselves. So just have that expectations that things are going to slow down a little bit, getting on and off buses. Make sure that we're mindful of those areas uh, that, that kids load on and off and that, you know, kids can horseplay. We got to be mindful of those areas that they're not going to accidentally fall out into the roadway. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can expect now that school's starting back with emotions from the kids, both excited and the depression. But the <laughs> fact that, yeah, uh, that was me when I was going to school. Yeah. But, um, you know, in those areas, they might be distracted. Let's just say right. they have a phone or device and they're sitting there looking at it or they have their ears covered and they're not listening. That can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. And so parents need to really talk to their kids about crosswalks, bus stops, about making sure that we're not distracted in those zones and especially for the drivers. Yeah. We do not need to be distracted or anywhere around schools or bus stops. Be looking for those kids this time of year. Uh, kids at Central, they're going to be crossing uh, Bryant. You know, they, they, mm -hmm. get, they get a little distracted. We got to be making sure that we're paying attention to traffic lights, yield signs, signals, and all that. And when it says stop at a crosswalk, that's not on the crosswalk. We're going to stop <laughs> behind the designated point. Definitely. So really expect the unexpected. Yes. And we have to be vigilant and paying attention as we're driving. And, and yes. like you said, you know, those parents talking to their kiddos. Yes. Talk to your kids. Make sure they're aware of distractions and how important it is to look and listen. Mm -hmm. Anytime they're on the roadway or crossing uh, crosswalks, wherever it might be, or just waiting at the bus stop, you really got to be paying attention to all your surroundings. Definitely. And again, so that stop sign on the bus, you yes. got to watch that stop sign. Yeah. You got to pay attention to that You know that what that'll sign. cost you if you Ooh. cross that bus? I want to throw Tell out a us. number. Tell us. First fine is going to be one thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Wow. That's a lot of money. That is. Yeah. So you don't want to get fined that, and there's really no leniency when the judges find that one come across their, their bench. They're going to be enforcing that. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's the children's lives really yeah, yeah. at stake. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've got kiddos that are going to school. Uh, I want it especially safe for them, but also be mindful of the new young drivers that are out there Ooh, yes. and have that patience. Uh, they're going to be figuring out a new routine, how to get to and from. There is some construction going on right now where ramps are getting closed down, mm -hmm. uh, and we need to be mindful of that, that you need to tell your kids to leave a little earlier. Expect yeah. delays, so we need to leave early to avoid uh, that confusion that could come along. Yeah, and that's a good um, just rule of thumb. Just leave a little bit early. Yes. And and have patience on the road. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, done, yeah. I mean, just imagine again, you're getting caught up in your routine. Yeah. Of what's normal, and here it is, the 16th, and now this ramp's closed. Oh no! Yeah. I got to get somewhere in the next two minutes. Well. Don't be trying to make up time. We can't make up time because right. normally it comes with a bad decision. Uh, somebody could get hurt. Right. So definitely pay attention to those um, construction updates. Um, right. Drive Texas Roads. Uh, yes. Very dot, good. Or, yes. Yeah. That will that will tell you all all the things that you and need Tech to know. And TxDOT does a pretty good job on their social sites as well, putting that information out there. So yeah, definitely want to pay attention to that and weather. We expect and some weather, weather coming. So again, uh, braking and, and new drivers and, and just again, that new routine is all going to be changing really uh, th that much more on Wednesday when the rest of the schools get going. And then the, the rural areas, I think, start next week. Uh, and, and these things apply to both the city and the rural areas mm -hmm. when it comes to slowing down for buses, stopping for buses and, and not going until that, that again, the right time. Right, right. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We Absolutely. got 30 seconds. Any final thoughts or messages? Uh, just, you know, let's look forward to the year, be optimistic, and but don't be surprised by anything. <laughs>
<laughs> expect the unexpected. Yeah. Just be patient yeah. and be safe, everybody. Be That's safe. Right. All right. Thanks, Justin, for coming in. Thank We've you. got more right after the break.